Hello, welcome to Miami. We just got to Miami. I am by far the palest person within this vicinity, um, but fingers crossed that that will change, although I highly doubt it because I am one to tend to hide from the sun. Oh, this lighting is kind of great, kind of terrible. Um, I wish we had a balcony. That's like honestly my only complaint. And Mike said I'm being an SLB, which is a spoiled little brat, which I am. Um, but I kind of wish we had a balcony because if we had a balcony, I'd be sitting on the balcony and talking to you guys, but we don't. However, the view is great. I'm very excited to be here. We just got back from the beach. We spent a few hours there and I think I'm gonna wash up, curl my hair, get ready for dinner. Um, and yeah, I'll just bring you guys with me throughout. I'm also finally editing the Grace vlogs and I didn't speak in like any of them. So I do apologize, but if you're into like a more scenic, less talking, like want to see the destination kind of vlogs, I think you'll be into them and they're pretty short. I think each one is between like 10 and 15 minutes. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe, click the bell, all the fun things. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna curl my hair. I'm gonna get dressed. I brought a lot of hoochie, hoochie mama outfits with me, which I'm very excited to wear um, to just take myself out of my element, pretend I'm someone else um, just for a little bit, you know, to decompress and just pretend like I don't have problems because sometimes in life, it's healthy to just pretend you don't have problems, I find, um, and then deal with them on designated dealing with your problem days. Okay, so I'm excited, let's go. I look really crazy. Um, I wore a lot of sunscreen and my face is literally the color of my cover up. <laughs> Since there is no balcony, this shall be our view, which is really nice. I'm not complaining about the view. I just wish I could enjoy the view with a breeze, you know, a nice warm 75 degree breeze. Where are you going? It doesn't look, it doesn't translate as cool in the video. Oh, yours is probably cool because you're taller than me. It's rude. Oh, it's an excuse why it's cooler. I feel like I'm in a jungle. Welcome to the jungle. What a nice walk in 80 degree weather. What a time. Grazie. I filmed this outfit the other day and was like in my pajamas and then threw this on. And I feel like I look a lot better now. So, very Miami, don't we think? It's 7.30, so I'm on time. And that's all that matters. I'm not a problem either. I think this dress could cause a problem though. I agree. I'm into it. You look bomb. Thanks. I have no shirt. I know, that's how I like you. Oh, I didn't even put any mascara on. Maybe I'll do that real quick. <laughs> You're right. That is the weirdest wine I've ever had. It's pretty good. Did you know that Vongole means glam? Yes. Did you wear that in Italy? Yes. Good morning, Miami. It is a beautiful day. My skin is already burning just feeling the sun through the window. Good morning. I just said good morning already. Um, it's 8.30. I kind of slept later than I wanted to. I really wanted to work out this morning. I actually might rally and work out, but Michael, of course, woke up and he went for a run. I'm sitting here in my pajamas looking disheveled, really tired, did not sleep well. The air conditioner in here, it's running right now, so it's very loud not to be an SLB, but I didn't really sleep well. Also, I feel like I'm kind of getting sick. I just feel like I have a cold and I kind of sound like I have a cold today. So there's that. This is the first time that I curled my hair and then slept with it in a braid. So we'll see what that looks like shortly. Um, but yeah, oh my God, guys, 
I know I told you that I would try the Patrick Ta contour product with you guys, but last night we were like getting ready in a hurry and I used it to do my makeup and oh my God, it was so good. I'm like obsessed with it. And then I also tried Merit's new blush. I forgot the name of it, but I'll show you guys in a little bit. Oh my God, equally as in love. And I feel like last night was just like, the perfect makeup night and I it took me like 15 minutes to do and I barely did anything I might do the same makeup look tonight and I'll show you guys what I did so I like espresso which I've come a long way because I never really liked it um but I really just want like a big cup of coffee so I see that in my very near future and then last night our dinner was so good I think we I think the name of it was Mikalina I'll put it down below or I'll put the name of it on the screen delicious gnocchi Vongole, delicious. So my gnocchi with clams because the waitress was like, I hope you know that that comes with clams. And I'm like, yes, I know what vongole means because I practice Italian. Um, but it was very nice for her to tell me that. I wasn't saying that in a snotty way because had I had not known anything about Italian, I would not have known that it was clams and would have just thought it was like a gnocchi pasta. So yum yum. All right, let's get on with the day. considering I curled my hair yesterday. That sucks. Cheers. Cheers. Yum yum. Let me see attendee. Chicken tendies everywhere we go. Like a six year old. <laughs> I love chicken tendies. Do you want one? Yeah, I do want one. Yum. Does it come with sauce? Sauce and it has fries. Yum. Oh, fries. That's bad. All right. Ready. Well, Ready. The big reveal or nacho. The big reveal. Uh, wow. It's wow. a lot of nachos. It is a lot of nachos. Let's All we've in. been doing is inhaling a lot of carbs in our bathing suits. <laughs> I apologize for the terrible lighting. I have a janky setup here and there's like no desk for me to sit here. So I'm gonna sit on the bed like I did last night. Genuinely, this is how I've been doing my makeup since we got here. And we're gonna do like a super, super quick makeup look because I don't have a lot of time. And what else is new? I brought this because Miami is very humid and nothing stays on my face, but this is the Milani Fruit Fetish Make It Last Mango Scented Spray. I don't know. This is just what I did last night and it seemed to work. I'm just gonna do that a little bit. Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. I'm in the shade of four neutral. And guys, this is like a quick like vacation. We gotta go. It Cosmetics Heavenly Complexion Brush. I'm just gonna pat this into the skin. Oh my God. I skipped the moisturizer. This is bad. This is bad. Hold please. Okay, let us rejoice and start all over because I totally messed that up. So, Milani spray. And now I'm gonna go in with some skincare. Apologies if you can hear Mike showering, but it is what it is. I'm taking my Tatcha water cream and I'm just gonna use this to moisturize the skin. Now that I remembered, eye cream by Charlotte Tilbury to hydrate the under eyes. Now I have even less time to get ready. Back in with my spray. A light mist. I don't know why in my brain this is just gonna make my makeup stay put just because it's so humid out. And taking the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I'm just gonna pat this into the skin. And I'm not really using a lot. I'm using just like a little bit. Hourglass Vanish Stick. No, Hourglass 
airbrush concealer. I'm putting this on the back of my hand and I'm gonna use the other side of this brush. And then I'm gonna reassess afterwards if I need any more foundation. I'm just gonna use this to brighten the center of my face and cover up my dark circles. Picking it up off the back of my hand because I like um, when the product warms up against my skin. I find that it glides a little bit better across the face and goes on less chunky, which is perfect in humid weather because the less product you have on your face, the longer your face will last. And I'm gonna go back in with this brush and just blend it all out. Okay, I tried this for the first time yesterday and I am absolutely in love with this, Patrick Ta. She's sculpted powder and cream um, contour I'm using a Real Technique Real Techniques 200 brush. And I'm just gonna use this to sculpt the face. This is like the perfect shade for me. I was reluctant to buy it, like I told you, because it's in shade medium and I'm so pale, but this color just is perfect for me. Put some in the crease. I'm making my forehead a little bit narrower like this oh, perfect sexual but that's exactly what I needed size a bit the bump I also tried this for the first time yesterday Merit's new blush in the shade Stockholm oh my god literal perfection i'm just gonna pat this on like look at that the apples of my cheeks into the crease and just like connecting the two. Oh my god this is like my new favorite blush for sure if you're interested in any mirror products i'll put my link down below shop my link i make a little bit of commission and it would be so nice of you a little bit more concealer on this pimple so I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand like this, just to be sanitary. Pick it up with my finger and then just blend, blend, blend. My mini Laura, I love her so much. Look how cute she is. I'm gonna take that with a Kat Von D brush. I forgot I owned this brush and it's like the perfect shape to set. Tap off the excess. And I'm gonna look up and just stamp this into the skin, just in the center of my face where I don't like to get shiny. And on my lids, and on the bump of my nose. And I'm gonna use a little bit to clean up the contour around my nose because I kind of went in there all willy nilly. So just like picking it up on the side of my brush like that. See what I did? See what I did? <laughs> but I kind of just inhaled it which will happen. And then in the center. Are you gonna be naked in the background? No. In, in the foreground? Sorry, I'll move if you want me to move. We're gonna have to start charging for these vlogs because you're nude in like almost all of them. NA17. Yeah, NA17? Is that what no, it's called? NC17. I was gonna say, NA doesn't sound right. Okay, I'm dusting that off. I'm using this NARS Skin Deep Palette, and don't hate me because it's been discontinued forever, but I can, actually no, I'm not using this. I'm using another discontinued palette by NARS because these are just like, honestly, my go-to travel palettes. They're just perfect. I wish we could put them into one big palette and call it a day. And I went to Sephora yesterday, no, before we left, so two days ago, to look at some palettes to buy for this trip. And I looked at NARS and I feel like they repackage shades from discontinued palettes into new palettes and just call them different names. So I wasn't gonna buy a new one. I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's like an orangey terracotta shade on a little travel brush from Charlotte Tilbury. You can find this shade in another palette. It does not need to be this palette. And I'm just gonna put this in the crease and I'm literally just gonna use this one shade all over my lid. So I'm just putting it in here and then bringing it in towards the nose and then bringing it underneath the eye and kind of like lifting it up in the outer corner. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little bit more and just bring it in like that. Champagne shade, like that. 
on a little pencil brush. Put that on the inner corner. That air is so loud. Some on the brow bone. Some matte white right here. Sweating. Are you sweating? Gucci brow pencil done. I think. Mm, they look okay. They look great. Are you hiding in the corner ironing? Yeah. Why? I want to be behind you doing it. Who cares? You're recording. It doesn't matter. Yeah, We're on vacation. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Do my brows look okay? They look on fleek. Do they what did you say they looked like the other day? They were very square. Do they look very oh, square? I did say that. You did say that the other day. I don't remember what I said though. Like specifically, I thought there was something I said specifically. I'm trying to like make them more undone looking. Do they look undone? Or do they look too done? They look fine. They look perfect. You're lying. I can tell by her face. No, I'm really not. Do you ever find yourself like looking at other women's makeup? No. I don't look at other women at all. <laughs> right. <laughs> Except for the one that hit, hit on you on the trail. She hit on me? She winked at you. That's a hit on. I mean, she was jogging. Maybe she had something in her. Maybe a bug went in her eye. I doubt it. I'd wink at you too if I ran past you. Maybe I imagined it. You didn't. Maybe it's Maybelline. Right. It's definitely not Maybelline. I didn't bring any Maybelline with us. Look how pretty this is. Isn't it pretty? You like the color? Mm, that's it's like a rose gold. I don't like rose gold, but that's pretty I don't like rose gold on me because I feel like my skin pulls too pink. Okay, now I'm gonna take the powdered bronzer with this little brush and basically just like set the contour. And I feel like in here this looks very orange, but on my skin it doesn't translate that orange, which thank God. Spray it one more time. Oh no. Where's it plugged in? It's plugged in right here. Babe. What, babe? Take that and plug it into the wall over there and see if it works. Like, I think I just broke my light and this is bad because I really need this. Right, we'll just get another one. <gasps> we'll get another one. It died. Where can we get another one? Why do I have the worst luck with these fucking lights? You had like nine things. Yeah, but nothing was charging. Into this they were just fake like thing. idly in there. It says right here. Max, you maxed it out. I didn't max it out. Plug this in somewhere else and see if it works. Okay, wait. Plug yeah. it into this? No, no, don't plug it in over here. Oh no. Oh no! <gasps> All right, relocating, relocating. Oh damn, I feel like the lighting over here is better. Probably should have been here from the beginning. I need a little bit more of this. Wow, what a blush. Let's do this. Up and down tan. You love the A&E channel. Let's try this. Cosmic. Refresh rooms. Everything that I can find down below. Yep. That's great goose over the Himalayan salt. Wow. That's cool. This looks very dangerous. <laughs> the more salt, the better. Cheers. Oh my god, that's very dangerous. It's really good.
Here's the outfit of the night after I ignored you all day. I didn't vlog a single thing today. What do you think of my lipstick tonight? Is it too peachy? Nope, love it. Are you just saying that? I think my face is too peachy. Let's see your face. <laughs> you match the flower on my dress. And then I put a wing on, which it's been a minute. It's go. been a minute for a wing. My makeup looks really good. I did a really good job. Let's see your makeup. <laughs> Brian, just know that if you ever watch this, I'm cursing you. Because you got the shittiest table at the restaurant. And yes, I'm being uh, SLB, but I don't care. Friday night in Miami <laughs> consists of tea, a book, jammies, and bed. Just like home. To be fair, we were just at a nice restaurant. We No, we were. But what time is it now? Oh, wow. It's later than I thought it was. 10.40? I thought it was like 9 o'clock. It's 10.40. Oh, wow. What's that? Who's that sexy lady on your background? Wow. Well, all right, never mind. I feel very sober though. I don't. You don't? I also feel very burnt. Let's see, let's see your face. It looks so much better than it did before, and I think everyone would agree because before it feels hot. you were like the color of that shirt before. It feels hot. Let's put some skincare on you. Okay, later. Okay. for today no, that I wore all day and we walked day we walked several miles in walk my heels I feel like we walked a lot of miles like no you miles. look less like a tomato today a little less tomato-y and I yeah uh, show the people what it looks like outside. it looks really scary outside. Wait, 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 wait. okay 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 let me clean up our laundry clean up yeah I got laundry everywhere over here Oh god, you can hear the wind. Oh, did you open the window? Yeah, I cracked the window open a little bit. Yeah, it is. Zoom into that boat out there in the torrent. The torrent. It's pretty rough out there, I'd say. The window doesn't really open though, does it? You can stick it out right there. Oh. Just, just, just don't drop it. Oh my god. It's rough weather out there. We're having a, a wedding in the lobby bar. How are they also having the party that they're having? I don't know. I don't want to pack though. Yeah, I get it. This is depressing. Me either. But I don't want to go back to New Jersey where it's cold and depressing. And dark. Wah. Jersey back in my typical form um, I'm gonna be honest it was really nice to play dress up for a few days and f not even forget about my problems because to be honest like the last two days were really hard and you know I had so much fun on vacation um, but I got really upset quite a few times the last couple days 
just like thinking about my dad. Um, and I would have filmed them because you guys know I like to keep it real and I like to show you like, you know, what's going on. But you know, I'm with my husband and we're on vacation and I'm going through this and so is Mike, you know, like it's hard for him to watch me be so upset. And yesterday I got really upset when I was on the phone with my mom right before him and I went to dinner, our last dinner in Miami. We went to Trapezone. Healing is a roller coaster of emotions. Like one minute I'm fine, the next minute I'm hysterical, the next minute I'm laughing, I'm crying, I'm sobbing. It's like a woo, it's literally like this. But with that being said, I feel like I'm pretty good at being, I've gotten pretty good at being really upset one moment and then being less upset the next moment just because if I were to be upset 24 seven, then I would fall into a deep, dark depression. So it's hard for Mike to see me be so upset. And then 20 minutes later, trying to like make conversation and laugh and like have a good time. Um, so yeah, so it was hard in Miami. We were sharing a one bedroom hotel room. When I was upset, he was there and I talked to him while I was upset or like I hid in the bathroom and just tried to keep to myself because I didn't want to upset him. But so I just, I didn't like want to film it because he would hear me talking and crying and being upset and I didn't want him. Like it was his vacation too, you know? And I'm sure he was really looking forward to getting away and pretending like everything was fine, just like I was. But the reality is, is that no matter where I go and no matter what I do, like I will always think about my dad and I will always get, you know, sad about it. Um, and then today we got home and I don't know, I guess just like being home was like back to reality moment for me. So um, he went to go pick up chicken fingers because that's all that we eat. <laughs> he went to go pick up chicken fingers and I just like lost it. Like I was hysterically sobbing. And then he came home and my whole face was like bright red. And he was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And he's like, okay, yeah, you're fine. Um, But anyway, so um, I just wanted to just kind of like put this in here because, you know, I had so much fun and like, I always have such a good time with my husband, but there were a lot of times that I was really upset. But I didn't want anyone to be like watching this and thinking like, you know, that I'm over it or that like, you know, I'm back to normal because I'm very much not back to normal. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. You know, what did you do this past weekend? Do you have any trips coming up? Um, if you could go anywhere, where would it be? Have you been to Miami? What was your favorite part about Miami? Did you go to a fun restaurant, a good restaurant? Did you have a good drink? Let me know down below because chances are I will probably be in Miami at some point in the future um, and I would love to check it out. Thank you so much for watching, um, for bearing with my roller coaster of emotions and yeah, I hope you have a good one, whatever it is you're doing. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.